You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Rob, do you get hangry? I do get hangry. So does my fiance, and that's Ooh, why you can't I... have that. <laughs> Ouch. Luckily, she doesn't listen to the show, so I think I'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> but when she does get hangry, I give her charky, which is this Peruvian jerky. I want to read something to you. Charky is the name derived from the Quechan language of the Peruvian Incan Empire to describe the process of preserving meat in the pre-Columbian days. Mm. The name charqui then morphed into the Spanish word charqui, and then the process was carried northward as the Spanish conquistadors began exploring North America. It is believed that Native Americans adopted the same process from the Spaniards to preserve their meat products. The product of this process became known as jerky, and the Indians passed it along to the earliest settlers of America. But Ranch Line Gourmet Tarkey is exquisite. It tastes great because they only use the finest cuts of lamb, and notably, the Tarkey is better for you. Studies have shown that lamb is a great source of protein and a higher source of protein than beef. But you wanna know something? People love grass-fed meats because it's healthier, mm -hmm. Yep. nitrate-free. They literally grow the barley that's fed to the sheep hydroponically at their farm to ensure that there are no chemicals ever used whatsoever. It's 100% all natural. So what does all this equal? An amazing product. Really, really, really good jerky. Definitely, guys. You're going to have to check it out yourself. It's on Amazon. There are three flavors, sweet and spicy, red chili. So if you love New Mexican red chili, you mm. got to check that one out. There's also salt and pepper. But if you want to just go to Amazon and check it out yourself, go to charky.love. Yes, that's a website, charky.love. That's C H. A R K I dot love, and it looks like this package right here. I think you'll find that you'll love it yourself. Well, guys, welcome to another awesome episode of Ask a Drone You. My name is Paul. My name is Rob, and this is episode number 524. Thank you for hanging out with us today. This is uh, a Monday episode, so we uh, hope that your week is off to a good start. It is a Monday episode being filmed on a, a Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> it's on all a, good. It is all good. But we know you're starting your week, so. Get it off to a good start. Yeah. You know what I like to do? 80 squats. I haven't been doing my squats in the last two days, and I have been feeling that pain. Really helps me get my mind going in the morning. The other thing that helps me is the bulletproof stuff. I drink bulletproof coffee, and I put the little... And uh, this is not an What does that mean, bulletproof coffee? I don't know what that means. Well... It's funny, um, uh, my company runs social media for this company called Surviving Mold, and I found out that in America, mm -hmm. we actually get the crappiest of the crap coffee, because America is the only country in the world that doesn't have import restrictions for mold in coffee. So we get the moldiest coffee in the in the world. I don't drink coffee. So, <laughs> so uh, I learned that, and it's just like really made me think about what I drink and the bulletproof coffee is completely mold free. And also I put this uh, coconut oil in it mm -hmm. and it really just kind of helps me wake up a little bit faster. Huh, very so, cool. Anyway, random fact, but guys, welcome to the show. We've got a great question today. We're not going to waste any time. We're going to get right into it for you. How many hours of flight time should I look for when hiring a drone operator? So that's from our friend, Ron. Ron, we appreciate the question. That is the most succinct question we've ever played Six on the seconds. podcast. <laughs> Six seconds. <laughs> um, I, I'm just going to say right now, I don't think there is a magical number. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of pilots out there say they've been flying for thousands of hours. Well, when there's only 2,000 hours in a year and they've only been flying for two years, how in the world do they have 4,000 hours of flight time? That's what I want to know. I've been flying since 2012. And my app says that I have, I think it's like 1,500 hours or something. Um, Which is a lot. Yeah. And I didn't even use my iPad or my iPhone for more than half of those flights. Right. So I have a lot of un... Uh, what is it called? Undocumented time. Yeah. So there is no... There is no right answer to this question. There is no magical flight hour number. But what I can tell you is how you can vet pilots to make sure that you are hiring a good pilot. This is something I do in my um, presentations to construction, real estate, marketing, lots of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and I show three separate video uh, 
scenes. And one is going through the trees and elevating out through the trees to show this nice reveal. The next one is elevating out through the trees while tilting up and we see a person on the rocks and then tilt down so we mm -hmm. can see how far above the land he is, which right. is like 2,000 feet. He's sitting on a huge cliff. Um, and then the third one is, you know, we tilt up, we fly through the trees, we roll left, yaw right, and tilt down simultaneously at the same time. So we have this nice, like, over-the-shoulder kind of uh, shot. And I show those three different shots to people. I said, the first one can be done by just about anyone. The second one can be done by someone who's kind of experienced. And the third one can be done by whoever is going to deliver a product that's going to help you sell your business. Right. Um, now, the way that new people can tell how good a drone pilot is is very simple. How do they bank their turns? Meaning, are they flying in straight lines and then kind of turning and then moving to another point? Are they flying and then, you know, introducing a little bit of yaw, but you notice their drone kind of goes out of control or they fly a straight line and there's a little bit of yaw movement, jerkiness back and forth. If you see any of those, that's not a good drone pilot. What you want to look for is a drone pilot who can bank their turns and create organic, natural movements in the sky. They, they move the drone around like it's an extension of their hand. Mm -hmm. Whether it's pointed forwards, it's pointed backwards, they already know where it is in space. They know where the camera is. They know how much battery power they have. They are on top of it. This person has created the habits, routines, and f experience to know what to look for, how to fly. Uh, you should also ask your pilot, what is the number one emergency maneuver to do if you have a battery issue? If they cannot answer that question with, well, if I have a battery issue and I need to get home as fast as possible, I'm going to do the tornado flight movement to get my drone to the ground without harming it. And if someone doesn't know what the tornado movement is, move on to the next pilot. Okay, so are there some basic knowledge questions that you're going to ask them, but just aside from the flying part? I would say, yeah, I mean, uh, who? The, you, you can get a lot of the noobs with this one question. You can be like, if I burn out an ESC, what happens to the drone? And if they don't know the answer to that question, don't hire them. Crash? It, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, if the ESC overheats, it, the motor will fail. And when the motor fails with a quadcopter, which is what most people are flying, the whole drone fails. There's no points of redundancy. Okay. So um, another thing that you could say is... Uh, uh, hmm. <laughs> um... You could ask someone, what is ferromagnetic interference? That's a little bit deeper question. Yeah. What, I don't know, this kind of makes me think of um, like a checklist that we could come up with to oh, help people hire somebody. We could totally do that. I think that'd be really cool. Yes. We'll put that on the list of projects. How many birthday candles do you put on your cake at the age of nine? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, maybe harder questions than that. <laughs> so am I hearing you say that when hiring a drone pilot to be a part of your organization and the things that you're doing, you really should fly with them? Yes. And for me, I would be comfortable with flying with someone if they had 100 hours, like 100 hours. Okay. Um, they would have to prove that, though. I would not take anyone's word for how many flight hours they have. Sure. No one's word. Now, what if you're trying to hire somebody remotely? Like you're in New York and you've got some really great opportunities in California. I want to see their demo reel. Demo reel. What if you, the other thing you could do is have them fly and go live, right? Yeah. Ooh, Rob, great idea, dude. Seems like a great way okay, to bet so, them. Okay, so, no, you make a really good point. Um, uh, for those of you who follow me on Facebook, I did a live stream of m where I'm getting uh, married, and I did that on, was it Saturday or Sunday Gonna morning? Be a party. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can't believe I just did that. <laughs> Sorry. Forgive me. I can't wait for this wedding. <laughs> it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a show for sure. Uh, um, but okay, so I did this live stream um, <laughs> this weekend, and actually one of the DJI executives was like, "You're one of the best live streaming pilots I've ever seen. It's it, smooth the whole way." <laughs> well, and I, I've only done it a couple times on our Friday flight days, and it's hard to be flying and trying to watch people's comments. And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wait, do I have battery? Yeah. Before I know. What I'm <laughs> Well, um, I gave people a tour of, I flew from a dock to the chapel, and then I flew around the property and showed them. And you could really tell how good a pilot is by how smooth they are in the live stream. Mm -hmm. If you're watching a feed and it looks broadcast quality, like I don't mean local news, I mean broadcast quality national news, because there are a lot of local news uh, organizations who are still not privy to the drone law. Um, so mm -hmm. if it looks broadcast quality, again, that means super slow, smooth motion. Right. 
constant movements, articulation, and it'll be nonstop articulation. And I will say, this is a little secret. So I'm giving away a secret on the podcast. Mm -hmm. Those live streams are my new favorite way to practice because they have to be smooth the whole time. So you have to be Yeah, you're on the spot. Exactly. Well, and the other thing I like about that is if you're Ron and you're again, wherever Ron is, and you're vetting somebody who's across the country, they're live and you could tell them, I don't know, you could even be separately talking via some other mechanism or just chatting with them and say, okay, I want you to try this shot. And so then they have to do that for you and you're watching them do it. So it could be really interactive. Man, this sounds like fun. I kind of want to go do this right now. Go hire somebody. (laughs) (laughs) Who can we hire? (laughs) Not that we don't already have 150 requests on our inbox right right right, now. (laughs) But anyway, guys, I hope that answers the question. Thank you so much for the reviews on iTunes. We're almost to 100. Help us out and get us over that 100 mark for five-star reviews. Also, thank you for all the reviews on Amazon for Living the Drone Life, our book. If you want to check that out, you want the formula to turn your passion into profit and live the dream. At least it was my dream. It can be yours too. Totally doable. Check out DroneUbook.com where you can get a copy of Living the Drone Life. So check it out. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me. I'm probably going to eat some charky. Mm. It is about that time. It is about that time. Anyway, guys, have a good one. We'll see you later. You're listening to Ask Drone You.